Well, here to talk about whether there should be a reasonable, reasonable expectation of privacy in butt dialing, uh, the question arises because a federal appellate court judge has uh, ruled somebody who accidentally calls somebody else uh, after a so-called pocket dial, I'll use the more elegant expression, is not protected by a right to privacy. Uh, joining us, former criminal defense attorney, uh, Emily uh, Campagno. Good to have you with us here tonight and here in New York with me, uh, Fox News legal analyst Mercedes Colwin. Good to have you here. Emily, let me start with you. Uh, we're now all liable for our pocket dials. Do you like the way I sort of made that a little more presentable? I appreciate that. And I disagree with the logic that the court handed down. In addition to being surprised by the fact that this came out of the Sixth Circuit, I think it's a stretch to classify operate as merely owning a cell phone and having it in your pocket. And traditionally, courts have, have mandated that you need to go through an affirmative act to extinguish your right to privacy. You have to take your garbage to the curb for pickup, not just throw something away to have this right to privacy be taken away. So the fact that this judge here said merely having the cell phone on your person necessarily extinguishes your right to privacy in this conversation was very surprising to me. And you, Mercedes? Oh, it's like pulling apart your curtain and letting everyone peer into your home. You don't have that privacy right. If you don't take those proper precautions, yeah. then shame on you. That's what the court held. And frankly, that was probably the appropriate way. Hillary Clinton, let's turn to her. What, what were the expectations there? This is a woman who is serving as Secretary of State with a private email server, sending her emails on her server, uh, and now seems aghast that anyone would question her judgment or whether there was classified material on it. At least there's at least one email we know that's been that had classified information on there. What about the other 30,000 emails that we don't have access to yet, that we haven't been able to go through? What about the well, server that she said that's, she destroyed? She, well, she destroyed it, and then the server she wasn't able to produce. I mean, there's so many questions here, and frankly, thankfully the DOJ is finally stepping up, and they're going to start to look through this, as they should have done, at the inception of this whole controversy. Emily, are you surprised that two inspector generals now are stepping up uh, uh, to say we need a f thorough investigation? I'm not surprised. As a federal attorney, I conducted these kind of referrals all the time and referring things to the office of, um, to the OGC, which is the Office of General Counsel. And here, what they're basically saying is stepping up to their role and admitting that this is part of the procedure, this is the domino effect. So when they see the red flag classified emails as being actually transmitted, then they need to refer this matter to the appropriate component or agency that has those independent resources but to that, conduct a thorough investigation. That wouldn't have happened if somebody in this administration didn't say, Say, sick them. Uh, this isn't this isn't something just spontaneously combusted uh, in those uh, in, in the State Department or the intelligence community. Somebody on high said, "Go get them." Right. Well, if that's true, then it's an unfortunate breakdown of the procedure because the culpability lies with the person who first sees this, has it land on their desk, and says, "Okay, we need to go forward with this referral." There wouldn't have been this, del this long delay had there, and had there been someone who made that call that you just intimated it took place. Of course, someone in the administration must have said something about those emails. It has to be. Why else would now, months and months later, after the controversy has gone by, that there, now there's action? Well, it, it's, uh, it, it's interesting that uh, this, just when it looked like this was dying down, right. uh, someone, and I would right. personally suspect, and it is purely speculation on my part, I acknowledge that, uh, but it's based on some considerable experience with these things, uh, had to say, you know, systems are go. Here's exactly. the green light. Go get them. Emily Campagno, good to have you with us. Mercedes Colin, good to have you with us. Great Thank you very much. Appreciate it.